Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm making a nice whole cornmeal cake. So to begin, we have to prepare the pan. Prepare the pan. What I do is I just brush it with some butter, the bottom and around the edges. This is so that it will not stick together. So we do that for all of the pan. I'm making six little ones. You just brush the water around the sides. Just so that it's easy to come out when you're finished. And then we will lightly flour. Here it's all nicely brushed with water. Take some flour and just sprinkle. We sprinkle the flour in each one of them. A little tip of flour. Then what we do is we just shake the bowl around so that the flour blend on to see what I'm doing. Just shaking it so that the flour blends to the bottom. Shake out the excess. We do the same for each one. Just lightly shake. excess in the last bowl you just throw out in the garbage. This way you use less flour rather than throwing it all out at once. So if you put just a little bit of flour in, you really have nothing to throw out anyway. It spreads nicely around. So there it's all done. This is what it looks like with the bottom well floured. So the pan is all prepared now for my cake. Now we will go ahead with our mixture. Here okay, I will add flour. I'm using one cup of flour. Half a tablespoon baking powder. Half a tablespoon baking powder. Then we need a half a teaspoon of salt. We will mix this all together. We add one tablespoon of sugar. Just mix this together. Remember I'm making a whole cornmeal cake. So I have the cornmeal already in the flour. Now I have to add the herbs. I have here ground it, parsley, which I will put a little inside. I have here mint leaves, put a few mint leaves, and a little bit of echelote. Now we just combine this all together, and then we will add the eggs. Just mix it in a bit. Now I will add in some cheese, pour a cup of cheese. Store that in. Then I will set this aside while I whisk the egg. Okay, we set this aside. Now I will whisk the egg and the milk. So I'll just whisk two eggs. Then I will add milk. I'm using soy milk. milk, one cup of soy milk, so we whisk those all together, just whisk the soy milk and the eggs together and we will add the mixture, okay, tighten it, these don't 
forget to like my videos, share, and subscribe. It's much appreciated. Okay, back to cooking. After we fry the with the eggs together, we will add it to the mixture. At this time, we will add olive oil. and ready to put in the oven. I've placed it in the oven so in 15 minutes I'll take it out and we'll have some nice cake. So there are my completed cakes. Right now it's cooling so I'll give it five minutes to cool then I go on to the next stage where I have to add some cheese to make it nice and yummy. Yeah, I know, I have cheese inside, but this would be additional cheese to make it nice and yummy tasting. So it's cooling right now. Okay, if you remember, we had put some butter in the bottom of the dish and some flour. The reason for that is that when you're ready to take it out, it does not stick. So when you're ready to take it out, it should be like this. It should just come right out of the cup upside down and it just comes right out. Okay, so that's a step, don't forget to add to the bottom of the dish before you start or it will not come out. So there we have it, it has to cool for about five minutes and then we go to stage two. So now we move on to the final stage. So I'm using my toaster oven, so what I do is I just line the baking dish with foil. You put this upside down and stick in the tray. It's nice and upside down in the tray. So there you go, I have it upside down in the tray. What I like to do is, because I love butter, I think butter makes everything taste so much better. I just rub some butter all the way around it. Not much, just lightly rub the butter around it. It would give it a nice buttery flavor to make it yummy. Okay, light soy, lightly butter. And then I sprinkle the top of the cheese cheese on the top, just a handful, okay 
you can put as much cheese to your taste. I usually just put a handful because we're not much of cheese people. Now I will take this and I will put it in the oven on broil for five minutes so that the cheese melts and flows down the sides and the sides get a little crispy. So there it is in the oven. Now I'm going to put it on broil for just five minutes. serve it as a dessert with a glass of wine or any kind of drink for the kids so I hope you enjoy how I made my cakes so you can give it a try and remember if you've enjoyed my video please subscribe share comment and like hope to see you again soon and once again thanks for watching peace to all